Hey, hey, this is Coach Jablox the Ball and Bob, both theme parts. Now, you thought I was done, but I just looked online and something just got released today as Bob and John Land have finally announced the name and the theme for their triple launch Gerstar roller coaster opening in June, my birth year, so I can't wait for that. Uh, I don't know specifically what day, I think it's around the 12th of June, I'm not sure specifically, but uh, again, I'll bring that to you in a separate video or as a little news update. Um, so yeah, we do know more detail, uh, like the full details now. So the new launch roller coaster will be getting a very impressive theme, as you'll see on the concept art, which I'll put on screen. Uh, in fact, right about now, fan of it, Aussie. So this, is gonna, so as we know already, it's going to be a 43 meter high roller coaster with three launches, and they've announced the name of the coaster. It's going to be called Fury. Now that's a decent name. Uh, now you're probably thinking, oh, that's quite generic, but listen to the theme of the area, which will help it. So according to the accompanying story of the ride, visitors will start a fierce battle with the Dragon Fogo. During the ride, they're launched forward, backward, and forward with a top speed of more than 100 km per hour. In doing so, they are turned over four times, so basically four inversions. Uh, Fury will be located in a new themed area called the Land of Legends. Uh, where the existing roller coaster typhoon and the frisbee sledgehammer can also be found. This is the first themed area in Bobbijon Land with a real total experience. Uh, that was that was said by the director of Bobbijon Land, Ives Peters. It's the largest investment in the history of the park, and he's convinced that they're putting something legendary here. So Fury is 600 meters long, but thanks to the triple launch passages, we'll be laying a total of 830 meters. Uh, a switch will ensure that two trains will stand on the track at the same time. Um, so the coaster, of course, is manufactured by Gerstara and opening in June. So this is the story behind the themed area, and I love it. I absolutely love it. The story behind the theme park, the uh, theme park, revolves around the Guardian of Elements. Uh, so a patron who created the Land of Legends somewhere on our planet to protect the four elements of nature, earth, water, and fire. Uh, of nature, earth, water, fire, and wind against evil forces. Although he closed the four different realms with gates, the danger is always in wait. So basically, the four elements are represented in the rites. So um, basically, fire will be represented with fury. Uh, earth will be sledgehammer. Wind will be Typhoon, and water will be this brand new water play area uh, called Nidaz Ni Waters, where there'll be a huge, where the huge water hose Uvu is in service. So again, so they're adding this like water play area uh, involved in the area, and it, and each of the rides, like I said, is represented by different elements of the of nature. So again, Earth is Sledgehammer, which is the Hush Giant Frisbee. Fire is Fury, the new coaster. Typhoon, as in the name, is represented by wind, and water will be this brand new uh, water play area for the families. So there's a real range here, and you saw from the concept art of the area. Oh my god. Bobby John Land, well done. Well done. You, you've outdone yourself. You've absolutely outdone yourself. From the looks of the concept art, it, it kind of gives me uh, vibes of the Smosey Grode uh, medieval type. Uh, area in a way uh, that's being added next year at Energylandia as part of the Zadra RMC coaster. Um, it kind of gives me vibes of that. If I was to think of a current themed area where it gives me vibes of, I sort of think of um, like I don't know. It, it it gives me the feeling of a a dark version, like a dark version of Toverland's um, Port Laguna. Uh, uh, not Port Laguna, the Avalon themed area where the BNM Winchester Phoenix. It kind of gives me a dark, a darker version of that kind of vibe. So it's really pristine in that, but it brings in that dark element of the Land of Legends. Um, of course, again with the themed area Land of Legends, I absolutely love that name, Land of Legends. It, it's, it's fantastic. It is absolutely fantastic, and from the theming, you saw it on the concept art, the theming around the area looked fantastic, and I do feel as if this uh, coast is going to be a massive investment for Bobbijon Land, and I think it's the start of something big for the park. I think this area could be the start of something big. You look at Toverland, uh, that wasn't strategically a themed park, 
But you see last year when they put in Port Laguna, the brand new entrance area, and of course the Avalon themed area with the uh, the tow water boat ride, and of course the being in Winchester Phoenix. You look how great that is. You look at Toverland now. That's just becoming uh, a brand new themed park. They're going to start. I mean, you look. Um, you've seen it on vlogs before of the brand new area. They've got a side gate, so that could potentially mean a new a new area to the side of that area. So again, they're always developing and always creating. Um, so I'm very very excited because one major themed area like this, like the Land of Legends and Fury, it could prompt a massive boost for Bobbijon Land and I think it will turn them from a, an amusement park into a themed park. Um, I think the amusement park kind of thing is sort of is starting to die a bit and I think uh, European amusement parks are going to start turning into themed parks. It will only be a matter of time before the rest of them start piling on the pressure and turning into themed parks uh, without having to use the IPs. I think it's nice that they're going with an original theme as well. Uh, it's nice that they're going with that. And again, this could be... I, I, I know I've had my doubts about Gerstau, but I th I've got a feeling this coaster could be one of the best launch coasters in Europe. And I honestly do think that. So again, very nice news update here from Bobby John Land. Very, very nice. Um, so that's it for this video. I'm going to film another video uh, from some news from a Devon theme park here in the UK. So I uh, hope, you, hope you get ready for that video when it's online. Um, either today or in the next few days. Whenever, whenever the videos are on, you never know when the video is going to come up. What video is going to come up until it's released. So thank you very much for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe and click the notification bell so you never miss a video. And for now, my name is Coast Gel, hashtag Doncasterborn, but built for theme parks. Keep them the Coast Leopard dudes. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Have an awesome day.